In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I have been organizing my kids curriculum, their uh, stationary items, and it's just been such an easy way for me to keep organized. Okay, so here are the bins that I've purchased and I got these from Michaels and I'll show it to you guys over here. It's quite a big bin. I have the smaller bin and let me show it to you guys. This is the smaller bin and this worked really well uh, for my son when he was in preschool and pre-K, it fit everything that he needed. But now he is doing kindergarten level, I have a third grader. And because I've been kind of homeschooling all around, uh, when I say all around, I mean sometimes we're on the go. Sometimes I'm at my mom's house in the city, I live in the country, so it's quite a, Sometimes we're spending a couple of weeks there. There's been a lot of things going on in our lives that we were kind of like up and go. So I've been loving just storing my curriculum this way. And this bin cost $10 at Michael, the big one. They were having a sale. They still are having the sale, but I'm not sure where you are located. So it just depends. So let me show you uh, what is inside my bin and how we store things. But guys, it's just been such a game changer for us. This is such an affordable way to store your curriculum. Not only that, but also um, if you have like a smaller space and you just want to feel organized <laughs> and have everything that you need at hand to like start your day without being like, oh, where's this item or where that's item. Everything is contained in one space. And it's been super easy for the kids just to put away their things on their own uh, once we're finished with our homeschool uh, curriculum and workbook stuff. So yeah, I wanted to share with you guys. So, so let's get into it. Okay, let me show you my kindergartners, his kindergarten bin and where I store everything that I need for him. So as you can see here, it has this tray. And in this tray on this section, the larger section, I have some flashcards that I am using with him. I have sight word flashcards and word family flashcards that I keep in this compartment. I have uh, two little games for him uh, from The Good and the Beautiful. It's the uh, Snowy Owl Subtraction and Ant Eater Edition. I have a pencil here for him and these are like the chubbier pencils for him that I like keeping over here. I have crayons um, and we use crayons almost every day so I like keeping stationary items that I'm going to be using with him often so I don't have to keep on going back and forth downstairs or looking for any stationary items. I have glue, I have scissors, I have his dry erase markers, um, another pencil just in case and then I have a uh, sharpener for him and these are good for chubby pencils ones so I like keeping one that he can use. I have a bookmark and an eraser. So as you can see on the first compartment here, I have everything that I need for stationary items, things that we reach for on a daily. I have a whiteboard for him because we use a whiteboard quite often. And then now I have his curriculum and books that he is reading. So the first one I have here is my first books by First Step Phonics. We've been loving their beginning readers and it's just so sweet and simple and straight to the point guys really really nice for beginning readers so we've been really liking this set over here comes with uh, 13 books so definitely recommend it I'll leave a link down below so you guys can check it out I have these beginner books from the good and the beautiful this is their old uh, one that they used to have and I like using it still I know it's not available anymore I believe but we have this in here we have two of his readers that goes with his curriculum um, my first nature reader and the, my first Africa reader and he's been loving the fact that he can actually read these books this is the new one that they came out um, in collaboration with uh, building wells in Africa so we've been really enjoying this reader and it's definitely ones he can read you know a good amount of stories in here already so he loves grabbing this every single day and reading his little um, he calls it chapter books because he sees his brother reading chapter books and he gets so excited that he has his own chapter books too <laughs> we have um, his handwriting which he does uh, a couple of times a week. He loves handwriting. 
I have um, these little cut and paste, let's fold, it's from Kumon. Um, and uh, he does this a couple of times a week just to keep him busy and working on his fine motor skills cutting and um, he really likes those. And then we have his language arts curriculum, which we are doing the language arts and literature um, from the good and the beautiful level K. And this comes with different components. So one of the components is the booster, reading booster A cards. So it fits nicely in there. And then I have the reading booster card A in here. And you'll see like it fits everything and it's a lot of stuff. I used to have the smaller bin, but these things would not fit all in it. When he was in pre-K, when he was in um, uh, kindergarten prep, it fit everything in the small container. But I definitely need this big one for, uh, for Michael now. Then I have his math K which comes with his little math box and everything fits in here. And then I have his Elemental Phonics by JDA. I have his primary composition notebook. He draws and we've been doing kind of like little stories in here. I'll show you right over here. We've just been doing little kind of like he'll draw something and then I'll write it for him, whatever he wants to write. He sees his brother doing this quite often and he he likes being like his big brother. So sometimes we'll he'll draw something and I'll just write whatever he's thinking about. Oops, and this is kind of bent over here. I have a coloring book for him. Sometimes the kids just like coloring. So I keep that in here. And this is actually from his pre, uh, pre-K course that we were doing with the good and the beautiful with vowels. It's like a little game and that's in there right now. We don't reach for it often, but I put it in there. And as you can see, everything fits quite nicely in here. I have a way that I like organizing it, but if I ask the kids, okay kids, can you please put your stuff away? The kids can put their stuff away. Even if it doesn't look perfect, uh, they are still able to put it away. Um, and it could be, you know, all in one place. And I don't have to kind of, be moving around being like, where's this, where's that? Everything is nicely put in here and it's ready to go. Guys, I wanted to thank Creative Fabrica for sponsoring this portion of today's video. If you have been around here, you know that I love Creative Fabrica and have spoken about their teacher's club card before. I have a link down below and you still can get the teacher's club card for $2.99 a year, which gives you access to different types of resources for your kids um, and just so many great and creative things. But Creative Fabrica also has an amazing deal called the All Access Subscription, where you would get unlimited access of all the resources on their website for free for the first month. With this free sign up, you get 10 free downloads and you can renew for $9 a month, which normally cost $29 a month. If you upgrade for the yearly plan, you can get it for $4.99 a month, which is 50% more affordable. And the great thing is, is that you can cancel anytime, no questions asked. You can sign up for the free trial and see if it's a good fit for what you need. Now, uh, if you don't know this, I love crafting. So I definitely took advantage of this and I've downloaded different fonts and I created a personalized bin for my kids and it just looks so great. There's so much different fonts to choose from and resources. If you are a YouTube mom like me, there are thumbnail templates that you can download and just so many resources, amazing graphics, embroidery designs. Guys, there is just so many different resources, over 6 million directly usable design resources. I will have a special link down below where you will find more information regarding this all access subscription and you can try it risk-free. Make sure to check out Creative Fabrica if you haven't already. Trust me, you will love it. Take advantage of this free trial uh, while you can, and I hope you love it as much as I do. Now let's look at Nicholas. He is in uh, third grade, and let's take a look at what I have here for him. So in the larger compartment, I have his spelling rules flashcards that we reach for quite often from the good and the beautiful. I really like these. They're really great uh, to go over the spelling rules. 
I really like these cards. So we keep them in here because we use it with his language arts course. The next thing I have here is markers and I just keep it in this little um, pencil case. I have a highlighter for him. I have erasable pens. Nicholas likes using erasable pens quite often. And sometimes when I'm correcting his work, I like having different colored pens over here. So I have that. And then I have dry erase marker, pencils for him, two pencils. And then I also have a highlighter for him because sometimes he does have to highlight things. I have sticky notes, glue, scissors. I have our date stamp that I use every single day with the kids. And I just like stamping their work when I'm finished with it. And you can see here, we just stamp the work once we are finished with it. And I really like doing that. And then I also have his name stamp. Once Nicholas has finished his work, the kids just like stamping their work. So I'll just kind of show you how it looks like. The kids actually picked it out and it's personalized. It says Nicholas and it has a dinosaur. Nicholas chose a dinosaur. And each of my kids have this little name stamp and they really, really like it. I have his electrical sharpener here, and I love this electrical sharpener. I got it from um, from the Dollar Tree for a dollar, and it's the best sharpener I've ever used. It's compact, and it works so well. I'm gonna show you guys. So if you have a Dollar Tree, you should look into getting this sharpener. And it just sharpens the pencil so, so well. And then I also have um, a bookmarks here, just in case he needs it. And you'll see here in this compartment, it fits everything he needs for his stationary items. Now let's go into what we have in the bin. I have the this pencil crayon, it's an extra one, and it has his retractable uh, pencil crayons that he uses. So I have that. I have his math box that he uses for his math course. I have his language arts program that we're doing, level three from the good and the beautiful. I'm gonna have a review up on this and tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it. I'm gonna give you guys my honest thoughts on how I feel about this, maybe changes that I wanna see with the new level, things that we use, things that we don't use. So stay tuned for that. I have his poetry book that goes along with his language arts course book, uh, I Sat by the Sea, and then I have his level three reader that goes along with his uh, language arts. This is kind of, the kids, he let some stuff fall in it. I don't know if you can see it, but he has his third grade notebook that he uses. We use it quite often uh, with his language arts course book, and he does journal entries in here, um, writings, and whatever it might be for the third grade. And we've been really liking his vocabularies in here as well. So we've been really liking this notebook by, uh, is it School Nest? Yeah, I believe it's School Nest. Then you'll see here that I have his spelling. I have his math. So math, all he needs is his uh, math course book. And then his uh, math box is over here. What I'm missing here is a whiteboard for him. I can't find my other smaller whiteboard. We usually have whiteboards throughout the whole house, so it's not a big deal, but I cannot find that whiteboard. Uh, but once I do, I'll put it in here and it'll fit nicely. I have his handwriting book. I have his explode the code. And then I also have um, his spelling notebook. We do spelling every week, and this is when he has his spelling tests. He does it in here, so we have that. And then he has his reading journal, which we've been really loving as well. And he does reviews on uh, different books that he reads. Then we also have the answer key for the math that I have, and I have it underneath. You see, like I kind of put it in a way where the things that we don't use as often, we put more in the bottom uh, or things that we use every single day are more towards the top of the bin. So my answer key. And then I also have 
books that Nicholas is reading right now. So he's reading uh, this book right over here, um, Who's Treehouse? Uh, and this is from The Good and the Beautiful. So he's been reading this chapter book. It is a level, what level is it? Level three book. So he's starting, he's gonna start this one right now. And he's just finishing up this one, The Amazon Rainforest. Uh, it's a level four book and he's been liking that. And then he has his dev devotional sketchbook, which he does um, devotional uh, writings, pictures. It's almost like a sketchbook, but also a journal. And there's always a devotional for him to read. So he's been, he has that in there. He has his bookmark and timer that we use quite often uh, for a timer and then for him to bookmark his page. And then Nicholas has a pen pal. So he's going to be uh, writing to his pen pal soon. So that's something that he has in here so he can work on that. So as you can see, oh, and then we have his coloring book. He likes keeping his coloring book here. It's a Hot Wheels one. And uh, whenever he wants to color, he can color. And as you can see, everything fits quite nicely in here. Everything is ready to go. It is a bit heavy, uh, Nicholas is especially because, you know, he's in uh, the third grade and he has a couple of things, but I don't mind it just because it allows everything that I need to be in one place. And that's definitely a game changer for me because I noticed that I've been kind of like, I've been all over the place lately. And I feel like sometimes I'm like, oh man, I forgot this, I forgot that. I don't have, you know, I don't have crayons on, on hand because we're homeschooling upstairs. And um, we've just been going through so many things in our personal life that I feel like if I'm organized and I know where my curriculum is, I'm able to, um, the day is able to go a little bit more smoother. So I'm just gonna put everything back so you can just see how everything just fits very nicely in the box. And that is it. Everything fits super nice in here and we're ready to go for the week. And usually with the bins, I also have the kids' lap desk. So Nicholas has his lap desk that is always with his bin. So if we're homeschooling upstairs and I know that we're gonna spend most of the time upstairs, uh, his lap desk will be with him and he can take out his books, put it on the side, put his stationary items in here. And then Michael has his lap desk as well. And then my daughter has hers as well. I haven't uh, finished off her bin yet um, with her little activities, uh, but that's definitely something I can show you maybe in the future. And that's it guys, that is the kids bins. Okay friends, this is how I've been organizing my curriculum lately. Because my curriculum is so open and go, I feel like I don't have to do much to prep for my day because everything is just there and ready to go and it's been a game changer. Let me know how you feel about it in the comments if this is something maybe that you would do or maybe you have kind of like a system going on like this that's been very helpful. And make sure to check out Creative Fabrica if you haven't already. The link will be down below. Thanks so much again guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye.